So we're going to be making the back inside cover envelope. So you are going to cut a piece of black cardstock nine and a half inches by six and a half inches. You will be putting it in the paper trimmer. The paper trimmer. Oh my gosh. The scoreboard <clears throat> with the nine and a half side up and you are going to score it at a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch. A half an inch. And three quarters of an inch. And then you're going to come down to the other side and you're going to be scoring it at eight and three quarters. nine and nine and one quarter. And then turn it with the six and a half inch side up and you are going to score it at one inch. Next, you're going to get another piece of black cardstock, eight and seven eighths inches by eight inches. With the eight and seven eighths inch side up, you're going to score it at six and one quarter, six and one quarter, and six and three eighths, six and three eighths. Should not have put the pencil mark right there. Why did I put the pencil mark right there? Oh my gosh. That will show. So you're going to get this piece that has the score marks on both ends and the one inch score mark on the bottom. You're going to turn it over so the bumpy side is up and you're going to fold on that innermost score mark here. You got one, two, three score marks. Fold on that innermost one. Fold. And burnish. Where did my... Huh. my other bone folder go? I don't know. Hmm. And then this is an accordion, so then you're gonna flip it and you're gonna fold the other score mark up. Burnish that. And then the last one is gonna go in the other direction. So this is like, it's an accordion. So we're making a little accordion. That look pretty straight. And you just want it so nothing is sticking out. So it's going to be like this. I don't know if you can see the little, like that. Like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bumpy side up, go to that inner, the inner score mark, fold, burnish, Flip it, go to that next score mark. And you just want this so those, those little folds are not sticking out from the sides. So you do not want those sticking out from the sides.
So I'm going to open this up. I, I should have done this part before I did that, but what we're going to be doing is cut out, we're gonna cut out this piece. So here's the one inch square mark, and then, um, and then this inner, inner score mark here. So you're going to, here's this, oops, where's the, so you're going to be cutting out this part here where here's the one inch score mark and then this first score, score line right here, you're going to be cutting out this piece and same thing on this side. You're going to be cutting out here and here. going to trim up and then go to that square mark right there and we're going to be modifying these a little bit too with a little mitering but for now just cut up and remove that rectangle and then what I like to do is fold this folded part this accordion part over, and I'm, I'm going to miter this part up. See how it's not completely straight? I'm just going to go in right there and just do a little mitering like that. Same thing on this side. It's hard to do on this end, but I'm going to miter this part up here. Go in right there and miter it up. So that's straight, so it's gonna be like that. You're going to go ahead and fold this on that score mark. Now we're going to take this piece get those Fold straight again. And what I'm going to do with this, um, you'll see it on yours. I need to get that straight again, right there. You want to miter a little bit right where this bottom accordion piece is. This is going to be folding over and you don't want it catching with the end of this little accordion. So I'm just going to mod, um, snip this just a tad. I can do it this way so I don't cut the paper like this. So I'm just going to snip it like that so it doesn't bump into that piece. Same thing with this side. Boy, how did I get that so crooked? Get this and miter this piece up just a little bit. Like that. That way it just doesn't rub against this piece. You need to cut that just a little bit more. Like that. So next you're going to take this piece. This 8 and 7 eighths by 8 inch. At the bottom here, we are going to be attaching this piece to this. And the way we're going to do this is you are going to be attaching this, in, should slide into here, and you're going to fold this piece over this piece. So we're, this is going to be the back side. Make sure this all fits in there and you don't need to do any trimming. So what I want you to do, once you make sure that it does fit in there, you are going to be attaching glue or tape to this bottom flap and you're going to pull it over like this. So that's what I'm going to do. 
So this piece is attached to the back side of this page. So this is how it looks on the front. So this is the front side. So next you're going to fold this over, fold this over. I'm going to put score tape on my little flaps here, these quarter of inch flaps. I'll probably use one eighth of an inch tape. Just make sure when you do fold it over, it does not catch down here. We mitered it, so it should be fine, but you just want to make sure when you fold this over, it's not rubbing at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape, probably use one eighth of an inch tape, and then put a little bit of glue, and then I'm just going to pull this down one at a time and adhere it to the side of this back page like that. Same thing on this side. So you are only putting score tape or glue on this top flap right here, this top part right, right there. So I have my 1 8 of an inch score tape and a little bit of tacky glue. So you're just going to pull this up, get those little accordion folds in, and line them up to the side of your bottom pocket page. I'm going to bring it up to my eyes so I can get it lined up straight and then adhere it down and do the same thing on the other side. Get it lined up to the edge and adhere it down. straight. Looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish this um, little eighth of an inch score marks here. So you should have your one eighth of an inch little gusset there. If you can see that little gusset. Oh, my camera doesn't focus there. If you can see that, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, there it is. I'm going to get my corner rounder and round off these edges right here. using the large. That didn't come out right. I guess that's good. Okay, now we're going to add magnets because this is going to be a magnetic closure. So I'm going to get my magnets and I'll be right back. So I have my magnets in. We're gonna put them like half an inch up, half, half an inch down, half an inch in on each side. I'm gonna transfer one magnet at a time. And I just wanna make sure that this flap, when it closes, forms a straight line here. And keep our little gusset in place. Does that look 
good or does that need to go needs to go down a little bit farther pull that gusset down I want that gusset to be squared so maybe about there that looks good transfer that guy down and then do the same thing on the other side magnets are transferred so i am just going to remove this score tape and then add my black construction tape so to cover the front of this pocket and here is here is our pocket so it's going to be opening up to the the right hand side so you're going to open this up and you're going to get this from the 12 by 12 collection and we're going to be using this for the flap they both come from this side of the paper for the angel I cut it you can see where the the bottom edge was so I used this piece to kind of ground the bottom and then cut it with the star cut there I want to make sure I kept the the wind instrument in the frame and just got real close to the wings but the wings are all there so this is like eight and seven eighths inches tall because our pocket is eight inches so that's going to go like this so I'm going to get that down so and then I will be right back so we have the flap in so it's going to be sitting like this. So now we're going to do the inside. So for the inside, we're going to use this from the 12 by 12. And I'm going to be cutting a piece that fits in here. And then we'll take it down into the pocket itself. So first I'm going to do this flap. And then I'll do the inside of the pocket. So I'm just going to do the flap the same same size as I did this flap, so I'm going to just use that as my my little um, my little what? What do you call it? My little pattern. So that's what I'm going to do. So that piece is in, um, and then I just that's where I cut it, right there, and I had to trim off just a tad from this side. Um, to get it into the pocket. So you're going to go over that little lip there. I just did this. And then get it so it's lined up with the one above like that. And then you're going to go ahead and put that down. So I use my score tape here and here and then I use some, some glue at the bottom. Um, but that should be it. Okay, we need to cover this back inside cover. I made a big mistake. Uh, so you won't make the mis this mistake. So this, this paper is from the 12 by 12. I want it to use this for the back side. So I cut these two panels thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, putting something, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, so what I want to do, I want, I'm going to Frankenstein this back together. So I make this back to a whole piece and then I'll fit it on the back. So I would want it to use this paper because I want this to look like a cloud more of cloud-like. So it was going to sit something like this. And then I thought it needs just a little bit of, I don't know, a little pop of something. I tried the gold, the gold, um, the painted gold, this, this stuff underneath. And it just seemed like a little too much. 
though that would give it a little pop and that actually wouldn't be actually that wouldn't be bad it would probably be much easier than what I'm thinking of doing so it would be something like that obviously going all the way down but that would be actually nice and much easier than what I'm thinking of doing so I might just do that because what I'm thinking of doing I have this gold vellum that I actually cut because I don't know what I was thinking and I want to get this Frankenstein back together. I thought the gold vellum just gave it more of a not so harsh look to the paper. And then it would be, it would just be peeking out just a little bit to edge it out there. And over here. Well, you kind of get the idea, but it's just a little softer look than the, the full on gold uh, metallic paint. So it would be something more like this. But since I cut all of them, it's going to be hard for me to Frankenstein everything together. That is just my problem, not yours. So this would be more like this look. And you probably can't even tell on camera. It's just a real subtle look, which look to me looks more like like floating in the clouds and the sunlight. So this to me looks more like sunlight. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, it's just going to take me a while. You won't have to do that. If you have gold vellum, you don't have to do all these cuts. You would just put it on the paper. Um, if you don't have gold vellum, you can use the gold, the gold um, metallic paint. Oh my goodness, it's been a mess. So um, this is what I'm going to come up with. First of all, this needs to be scooted over to this side a little bit more. So when you have the flaps closed like this, they're stepping down. So these are all, I think I measured three quarters of an inch, about three quarters of an inch. So this one needs to be about three quarters of an inch from this, this guy. So that way it just kind of looks more uniform. So that's going to be a, a, about right there. I made a little tick mark here. Um, I Frankensteined this back here. I haven't adhered it down yet. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully yours won't look like that. And that's going to go there. Just make sure you clear your your fold there. That's going to go like that. And what I decided to do with the vellum, I couldn't piece it back together. It was just a mess. It's just to add the vellum sticking out a little bit from each side. This is eight inches tall, so it's going to be sticking out about that much on this side. And a little less on the other side. So that's just going to come something like that. So that's what I am going to do. You guys can do anything you want. If you have sheets of paper that you haven't cut into and you think they look good underneath this and you don't want to do all this work, just put it in. Just, just, you can go ahead and just put down whatever um, sheet you want in the back. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I finally got this back cover um, the way I want it. So here was that page that I had to Frankenstein together because I cut it, but you're not going to really notice it because this is going over it. I added my gold vellum on the back 
put some construction black construction tape to get the edges where I wanted them. This edge just has a little bit. This edge has a little bit more. This looks like an eighth of an inch. This is around a quarter of an inch, I believe. Let's see. Oh, a little more than a quarter of an inch. A little bit more than a quarter, um, not quite a half an inch, but in between a half an inch and a quarter of an inch, it's just where I randomly put it. And then it's going to go more, more to this end because remember, I wanted these pages to look like they're all stacked like evenly. So they're stacked like that. And then this will go so it's even with this page. And it's like like this so since this is an eight inch pocket these are eight this eight inch envelope and these are eight inch um, pockets base pocket pages it's going to be lined up like this so everything looks even so I got to get that straight it's gonna be like that and then I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on the back and adhere that down. Just one thing, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are using vellum, do not put your glue or score tape um, over the vellum itself, just on the edges, it'll be held down. Uh, you don't want glue to come out, it will distort the look of the vellum. Same thing with tape. Tape, not as much as glue so that's going to I'm going to pull get this in here and pull my score tape 